Good afternoon everybody. Welcome to story time. I've chosen this book today uh, partly because I know a, a lot of the nursery children love this book. It's called I'm Big Enough Now. And it got me thinking about when all the nursery children started, how small you were. And now look how big you are. Look at how much you've grown. Look at how much you've learned. Me and Miss Arnold and Mrs Saeed, uh, Mrs Sykes and Miss Bartlett, we're all really proud of you. You're doing really well. And thank you, mums and dads. Brilliant team effort. So we're going to read this book now about this elephant growing up, just like all you lot are. Here we go. I'm big enough now. <laughs> there he is. Little big elephant with a purple bird on his nose. Okay, can we all see that? One day there was a baby elephant who said, Oh, I want to go and have adventures by myself. I'm big enough now. Are you sure? said her big wise elephant mum. If I were you, I'd wait until I'd grown up some more. The baby elephant stamped her feet. I don't want to wait. I want to go today. Okay, said the big wise mum. Where are you going to go first? To the lake, said the baby elephant. I'm big enough now. And off she went to the lake. The baby elephant paddled in the water. This is a good adventure, she laughed. Then a gigantic old hippopotamus made a splishy splashy wave. Help, spluttered the baby elephant. This water's too deep. Baby elephant's getting splashed. Why, hello, said a soft kind voice. I was just passing. Catch a hold of my trunk. The baby elephant's big wise mum patted her gently. There, there, she said. No harm done. Now where are you going next? To the village, said the baby elephant. I'm big enough now. And off she went to the village. This is a great adventure, laughed the baby elephant as she chased a bit of paper that blew down the dusty street. But then she heard clackety noises, floppety feet and honkety horns. Oh, it's too noisy, she whimpered. She doesn't like it in the noise. Why, it's you again, said a soft, kind voice. I was just passing. The baby elephant's big wise mum gave her a huge kiss. There, there, she said. No harm done. So where are you going to go next? To the jungle, said the baby elephant. I'm big enough now. And off she went to the jungle. This is an excellent adventure, said, laughed the baby elephant as she marched through the thick leaves. But suddenly, around the corner, came a squeaky, scary monster. Is it a monster? <laughs> what is it? That's right. Oh, I want my mum, wailed the baby elephant. And she began to cry. Oh, baby elephant's crying. Here I am, said the soft kind voice. The squeaky scary monster ran away. Now the baby elephant's big wise mum. I'm off to have some ventures too. Do you want to come with me? Okay, said the baby elephant and off they went together. They went to the lake and squirted the gigantic old hippopotamus until he laughed and laughed. Squirting him with his trunk, with the trunks. They went to the village and had buns and bananas. They skipped through the jungle and chased the parrots. 
and then they dance with the monkeys. Oh. At bedtime, they sang to the moon and waved to the stars. I like my adventures with you, said the baby elephant. So when are you going to go off on your own again? asked the big wise mum. The baby elephant thought for a minute. And what do you think she said? I think I'm going to wait, she said. I'm not big enough yet. Her mum hugged her tight. You soon will be, she said. My little wise baby elephant. Oh, mum and baby having a kiss. Good night. And that's the end. So I thought that was a nice book. I know a lot of my a lot of the nursery children like that one. And I just thought about you. How you're we getting big now and you can do a lot of things by yourself, but sometimes we always need we all need a bit of help. Even Mr. Jameson, even our mums and dads, we all need a bit of help sometimes. So we'd like you to do things on your own, but don't be scared of asking for help. And that's the moral of the story. Okay boys and girls, I'll see you soon. Bye.